Chester, it's time. You do understand that this is your last chance, don't you? After this, there won't be anything else I can do for you. There's nothing you could have done anyway. Open cell lock 1A! Yes, there is, if you just let me do my job. Just answer the questions as honestly as you can. I'll see you inside. Prisoner 3319, the purpose of this assessment is to evaluate your mental competency to be able to carry out your execution. Now, a jury of your peers has already decided your guilt. The court has sentenced you to die for your crime, and the specifics of your case have no bearing here. Our only concern is whether or not you are mentally capable of carrying out the sentence of death for your crime. Do you understand what I'm saying? To put it simply, Chester, if you're insane, you get to continue to live. If you're sane, you die. I understand. Chester, do you know where you are? A prison? Is that a question? I'm not sure how specific you want me to be. I don't know. How specific do you want to be? <sighs> I'm in a chair, in a room, in a prison, United States, planet Earth, somewhere in space. And do you know why you are here? Did we not just go over that? I don't know. Did we? We're here to determine whether or not I'm crazy. And what happens when we decide? You either kill me or you don't. And how do you feel about that? How do you think I feel about that? I think only you know that. I feel scared. Angry, confused, anxious, I feel a lot of things. But the one thing that could save my life, I don't feel. I don't feel insane. But by its very definition, an insane person doesn't know that he's insane. But by that definition, wouldn't that make everyone insane? Do you think that everyone in the world is insane? I don't know. I know that you're mainly trying to determine whether or not I am in touch with reality enough to understand that you're putting me to death. See, we live in a society that has agreed that a man should be put to death if he violates certain laws, but not put to death if he's too crazy to understand that violating those laws is wrong. That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, if what I did was so wrong that I'm being sentenced to death. I, does it really matter okay. if I know, okay. if I know sorry, what I did was okay, wrong? Okay, I'm sorry to interrupt, but we're getting a little off topic here. We are not here to discuss your sentence, your conviction, or your I, crime. I know, you made it very clear as to why we're here. I'm saying that if you're gonna determine whether or not I'm sane, you need to look at yourselves first. Uh, you, you come in here with your air of superiority asking psychobabble condescending Freudian questions to a guy on death row. I mean, really? I can look at you and know right away that you're a miserable excuse of a human being. You're probably divorced, don't see your kids, you drink yourself sleep every night. Why don't you tell me about your mother? Oh, and you, you and your buttoned up trying so hard to hide your sexuality through your PhDs. Yeah, that beauty that you've been burying all these years. Time's catching up, that's slipping away. You're gonna die an old, lonely woman. 
who spent all her time focusing on other people's lives rather than letting her own. Chester, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down! Who gives you the right to judge me, huh? Who gives you the right to decide if I'm insane or not? Are you seriously gonna sit there and tell me that if I run through the streets naked with a diaper on my head and start killing children with a machete, so long as I believe that I'm on Neptune and aliens are, are telling me to do it, then, then that's okay because then I'm just too crazy to kill. I mean, how does that make sense, huh? How does that make sense? Don't ask me about sane or insane. If you want to know if I perceive reality in the same way that you do, so that you can determine whether or not you should kill me, then yes, I do. I know where I am. I know why I'm here. And I'm completely competent for you to end my life. Well, that was quite <clears throat> Something. It's obvious he's suffered a dissociative break with reality and needs more observation. I think I've heard enough. He's competent. I concur. I'm sorry, kid. I did everything I could. I know. Well, like I said before, there's nothing you could have done.